All right, guys, today we are doing the carburetor of uh, the fuel lines in Primer Ball, I believe, on an Echo CS310. Yeah, we're doing the Primer Ball fuel line. CS310. Uh, first thing we'll do is turn the brake on. Oh, look, that brake's broken. Nice. That's good, safe stuff there. I'll have to look up one of those, too. Uh, pop off the uh, air filter cover, both sides, get this off. These guys took good care of their equipment. Um, get the uh, air filter cover off. Or air filter off itself. Get it right off. Actually went the wrong way. It goes down and lifts off, I think. Yeah. Anyways. I'm just going to clean the air filter. It's carb cleaner. We'll clean it right off, blow it out with the air hose. Or you just rinse it all off, set it out in the sun for 10-15 minutes. See, it looks like new again. Now we're also going to go ahead and give a good spray inside here. The whole engine area. We're going to get all this dirt out of here before we start pulling it apart. Getting dirt inside the engine, you know. Um, this choke arm's bad. That's this choke. These guys here. But uh, pull the choke so that this is flap is closed so you don't get any dirt in the engine. All right, so now the throttle arm isn't really connected, just gets pushed by this. So we're gonna go ahead, pop it out and get it out of the way. Like that, because it's gonna hold on. Just get it out of the way. And then um, take these two bolts out here. It's a T27. Uh, this is a still tool. If I remember, I'll list this on there. It's got spark plug socket, your T27, everything you'll need. Actually, there's three. You got this one, this one, and this one here. Um, I'll also put the fuel lines, primer ball, carburetor, air filter, spark plug, everything else in the description below. This comes right out. All right. Choke arm lifts right up. You twist it right out. Or just get it out of the way. Okay, so now the primer ball. Here, let me turn the light on. See this spot right here? That's a clip. Just push down on it, and the primer ball should, you know, push down and pry out. The primer ball should pop right out. So it pops right out. Um, fuel lines are still intact, but don't worry about that. Don't worry about where they go or any of that. I'll go through all that in this video here. All right, so now I'll just go ahead and remove the fuel lines. Remove the fuel lines off the carburetor. Get the, get the tank drained out. All right, so now you got all the carburetor out. Give it a good rinse. And then we're going to just go ahead and take a flathead screwdriver. Stick it up underneath the rubber grommet here. And we're going to pry it up. Uh, it takes two hands, but you're going to pry it up. Pull it right on out, and then uh, go ahead and remove the fuel lines. So I found out what the actual issue is. The fuel lines weren't bad, but it was kinked over. So the kink over like that, it's just the fuel line got soft. So there was no holes in it, but it wasn't letting the fuel through. The grommet will have a, a nipple in it. Don't worry about that. The, the new fuel line will fit nice and tight right in the grommet. We won't even use that nipple. If you find that it doesn't fit in there nice and tight, you'd pull it through, shove the nipple on the end, oh, where'd it go? On the end of it, and then pull it back until that nipple was inside the grommet. And then you would put a new piece of line on this end, about this long, with a filter. But we're just pulling it through about that far, and then we're gonna shove a brand new filter on it. So we're gonna figure out where this fuel line is gonna to go to. This carburetor goes in like this. The big nipple on the very top with the one side is the intake. That is where this line is gonna go. So it's gotta be, you know, yay long. It goes from in here to right there. So you're gonna be like that. Let me get all this debris out of here. It's gonna look like that. Then we're gonna take this line and we're gonna shove it through the other hole. This goes through a little bit. This is your return line. This will go to the primer ball, which is right here. 
we're not going to worry about that. It's the long line on the very top. So we're going to shove the filter back in here. Oh, that's not going to let that filter in there. Oh, no. All right, we can't put this filter on. We have to do that later. So what we're going to have to do... Uh, all right, take the filter off. Fuel line side, which is the shorter side. Your fuel line, we're going to pull it all the way, almost out, all the way. So it's like that. That's the fuel filter side. Then we're going to shove this down into the tank. And we're going to work our way all the way out the tank on the other side. Now we can actually shove this grommet in. Um, it's going to be a very tight fit. So you're going to get the back side shoved in. And then the front side, you can use a flathead screwdriver and work your way around here. With your holding it with your finger up here real tight, you're going to shove these down in around. Just work your way around from one side all the way around. Just shoving it in, just shove it down in. Um, use a bigger screwdriver in this though, because a sharp pointy one will just stab through the grommet. Once you get it in there, stab the fuel filter on the end of the line. And then we're going to grab this line that's got the filter on it. And pull it out until the filter is laying on the bottom of the tank nice and perfect like. So this is the filter line right here. We're going to jam it up in the front so we don't get it confused with anything else. Alright, filter line. Alright, let's get the uh, primer ball. Brand new primer ball. Um, short is suction, long is return. This line right here is the return line. So, I'm going to flip this thing up on its side. All right, so, all right, let's uh, go ahead and fish this line through where the primer ball goes. Get off the length, stab it onto the long grommet, and then the short grommet, we're going to take the rest of the line, stick it through here. That's your suction line. And we're going to stab it onto the grommet. <laughs> we're going to stab it onto the grommet. I'm stamping on the primer ball. All right, so you got the short one on the return line. The short nipple is going to aim towards that notch right there. So there's three notches. You're going to get them all lined up, and you're going to push it right on in. It clicks right into place. All right. All right. Now this goes to suction. The return's already going in the tank. You're fine. This is the filter. Carburetor goes in like so. This goes to the filter. This one over here goes to suction. So we're going to go ahead, run this over to about here, and then cut it off around here. And that should be plenty enough to hook it up. Now we're going to go ahead and plug our line in, our suction line in. Get it lined up, make sure there's no kinks in the line, and then, and then you're good there. Now, this other line goes to this top nipple, so you're going to cut it to size, shove it on the top nipple. It's set in place, make sure that it's not binding up or kinking any of the lines. All your lines are hooked up. Two long bolts through your uh, air filter assembly, make sure your gas gets on in between, and then you're going to work your way down in and work it through the carburetor. Got it in the carburetor, you're gonna work carburetor down and then uh, make sure you're not pinching any lines and you're gonna tighten them, tighten the bolts down into the intake manifold. Shoving your fuel lines back into that notch will keep them from getting pinched by the bottom of the air filter assembly. Stake, choke, line, choke has gotta go on first. Take these back out. Just get it loosened with the filter, carburetor so attached get it lifted up because the choke arm goes underneath here. Got it back in, shoved down in place, then you can get this all lined up.
and screwed back down in like it's supposed to go. Get them started in a little bit. Go ahead and get the uh, throttle arm assembly back in. That's going to take two hands. Mostly tightened. Got it set into that. It's a little S. So you got to line it up in. You bring it here. And you get a pair of pliers on You know, have it drug out like here. Get a pair of pliers on this part right here. And just shove it down. Just push it right into, the, into this slot. Push it right down into this slot right here. And then it's, it's there. You're ready to go. Now tighten this down. Put the third one in, tighten it down. All right, now we're gonna shove the filter back in down in place and clamp it down. Like so. Um, yeah, cover, and that should be it. You're ready to go. Put gas in it and start it. All right, guys, this helped you in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Uh, this is a pain in the ass. You will not like doing it. It is very possible though, just follow step by step. Um, all the parts will be in the description below. Uh, carburetor, everything. I suggest grabbing the whole kit that I put on there and just changing the carburetor out and everything. It's so much easier to do it once than to do it twice. All right guys, today's t-shirt will be in the description below as well. If you want me to wear one of your business shirts, Mail me one. I'd be happy to do some advertising. Peace.